perfect outfit But I don't plan to wear it Unless you're gonna tear it Right off my bottom berry Sometimes I might get upset Hello, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you something that I really enjoy eating, and I'm going to be uh, making it in the air fryer. I am talking about air fried falafels. Now, falafels are something that for me has always been a food that I really, really enjoy. It always reminds me of being in Europe and going to different falafel stands and just having amazing food. There's one in Germany that I am always brought back to and that I love to have. So I'm going to recreate create that, but I'm going to make it healthier because obviously a lot of falafels are deep fried and while that tastes amazing, it's not very good for weight loss or for health. So making these in the air fryer provides a lot of crunch, but without any oil at all. So they're a lot healthier for you, a lot better choice. If you're trying to minimize oil or trying to lose weight or just be healthier, these are a great option. Can you bake these in the oven? Absolutely. They're not going to be quite as crunchy as they would in the air fryer. So I definitely recommend the air fryer, but if you don't have an air fryer, you can make them in the oven. I've got all my ingredients right here ready to go. It's a really quick recipe. You throw everything into the food processor and then let it bake in the air fryer. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways to plate up the falafel to suit your needs. Okay, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and the notification bell because I have new videos coming out every single week. I will link the full recipe down below and make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy falafel as well. Okay, let's get into this air fried falafel. A key component to making these these falafels really taste authentic is using dried chickpeas. So I'm using a cup of dried chickpeas and I'm soaking them in a bowl of water overnight. So this is what they look like, you know, ahead of time, completely dried. And after they've soaked overnight, they're nice and they will plump up to probably two thirds the size. Um, so this is what they look like. I'm just going to drain this bowl of its water and I'll use the soaked and drained chickpeas for the falafel. Oh. In a food processor, add the soaked and drained chickpeas, onion, parsley, cilantro, jalapeno or serrano pepper, garlic, cumin, cardamom, sesame seeds, salt and pepper to taste. I got the perfect outfit, but I don't plan to wear it unless you come and tear me right off my bottom berry. Process it for a few minutes until the mixture resembles coarse sand. You're probably gonna need to stop a few times, scrape down the sides as you go, tap it, do whatever you need to do. Once you get it to that consistency, transfer it to a mixing bowl, cover it and refrigerate for 30 to 60 minutes. I've got the falafel mix in the fridge, uh, just chilling so that when I make it into balls, it's a little bit easier to handle. I've received a couple questions about which air fryer I use, so I just wanna share that with you. I have only had this air fryer, so I don't have any point of reference. It's really served me well, and what I like about it is that there's a lot of options. It has like this little basket to put French fries in, um, so you can kind of have it in rotisserie style, so they cook evenly. And I like it because it has like a tray as opposed to just a basket at the bottom, which I think seems like you can't do a lot with, and that seems to be what a lot of air fryers have. So if you're in the market for an air fryer, I will leave a link to this one down below and you guys can check it out. So around the world, you might see different garnish with falafels and everywhere's a little bit differently. Some just have some tomato and onion and pickle. Others have more of like a variety of vegetables in there. Sometimes you can have a plate, sometimes a wrap. So what I'm going to do or what I find to be the absolute best, I'm going to do some fresh tomato, pickle, onion. I'm also gonna throw some greens on there because hey, you know me. And then also I am putting a little bit of a coleslaw mixture, which is from my first cookbook, Be Vegan, Skip the Diet, Just Eat Healthy. It's the rainbow slaw. And I find that that with the falafel is just such a winning combo. And then I like to have a hot sauce in there as well. And the hot sauce that I feel like complements this really well is the yellow bird hot sauce. So I will link that down in the description as well for you guys if you're interested. It's such a good hot sauce, uh, especially for this dish. Ways that you can eat this, you can make it just a plate and forget about the wrap, make it more of like a salad. You can make your falafel at the beginning of the week and just put it in a glass container with a lid and then put it on a couple salads a few days a week, put it in a wrap another day. Um, there's lots of versatility with this and also really aids to preparing a quick meal um, if you're on the go. So I think the falafel is almost ready in the fridge and now I'm going to just show you how to put it together, make it into little balls or patties and then throw it in the air fryer and we will be ready to eat within minutes. 
Now we are going to make these into balls. So I'm going to add a little bit of flour and baking soda here just to thicken it up a bit. This step honestly can be done before you put it in the fridge or after, whichever is fine. Now I'm just forming little balls or patties with my hand and then you can decide how big or small you want them to be. As I'm forming them, I'm just placing them on the air fryer rack. And then once all the falafels are ready, I'm placing them in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 400 degrees. In the meantime, I'm making a homemade tzatziki sauce, and this is a recipe right here. It's really easy to do. I've showed you guys in so many videos how to make a cashew sour cream, so that's the base. And then I'm just adding some garlic and some dill. Now, here are a couple ways you can plate this up. First, I'm making a falafel plate. I'm doing some mixed greens and tomato and onion, pickle, a little bit of that rainbow slaw I talked about earlier, as well as some microgreens here. And you can have the falafels in that manner. And you can even serve a falafel plate with some extra hummus. If you wanted to make a wrap, we're just using the exact same ingredients but making it in a wrap or a burrito style to make an actual falafel wrap. I'm using three to four falafels pretty much in any wrap that I make and then I'm adding all of that same garnish inside. Like me, Nikes, be the only damn trick. Like me, Add some yellow board hot sauce, some rainbow slaw, and you're good to go. And the wrap that I use in this video is the Ezekiel wrap, in case anybody is wondering. I always get questions about that. All right, you guys, let's give it a little taste test. Mm. Amazing. What's really great about this air fried falafel is that the outside is crispy, but the inside is still soft, which makes it exactly what you want in a falafel, whether it's fried or baked or whatever. Um, but the air fryer really adds a nice quality to this. Sometimes you just have baked falafel and it's kind of like meh, but this works really well in the air fryer. You don't have that oily taste, which of course tastes lovely, but this is a great alternative in my opinion. Mm, very good. All right, you guys, so there you have it. The full step-by-step -step recipe for these falafels will be down below, along with a plethora of free recipes for you guys over on my website, Vegan Michelle. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can follow me there at vegan underscore Michelle and tag me in your recipes. I love when you guys send me pictures um, of your creations that you've made from my recipes. Make sure that you like and subscribe this video, hit the notification bell so you know when I have videos coming out. And if you enjoy recipes like this that are keeping it whole food, plant-based, but are still actually good, check out my book, Eating Whole. If you want to transition to a whole food plant-based diet or you're struggling with weight loss, I'd love to help you out. Learn more at my website, veganmichelle.com. That is my spiel. Enjoy the falafel and I will see you guys next time. Bye.